Namaste beautiful yogis and welcome to a video that will cover briefly uh, food combining and um, I want to make a disclaimer before I begin. I'm coming from my own personal experience as a person that has been on a vegetarian diet for over 20 years and as a yoga and athletic person. So I love to read all the scientific um, data and studies that are coming out lately or uh, all the literature out there is very interesting to me but at the same time a lot of the scientific data does not interest me as much as people's personal experience because a lot of the scientists have never even done a yoga class or don't have a, a regular yoga practice they're not athletic and they have no experience and uh, history in any type of healthy uh, living or eating so you have to you have to combine or take the best of all words. So all I'm doing here is I'm not giving you some scientific data or anything like this. I'm giving you my personal experience and what works for me as a person that's extremely athletic and have been at it for quite a while. Um, so uh, the first thing I want to actually mention, it's uh, a few people brought him up and I've been uh, posting him on Beautiful Yogis. Come over to Beautiful Yogis group on Facebook. It's beyond awesome. You get the best advice there about anything. Everybody is super smart on there and helpful. And it's a heart-centered group. It's a hearty group. I, I, we should make the next logo for the group that is around the heart. Anyways, so um, go over, subscribe to Nutrition Facts, um, a YouTube channel called Nutrition Facts. It's um, he's a uh, he's a vegan doctor, vegan nutrition. And no channel and he has superb information all kinds of videos tons of videos to go through and his website is nutritionfacts.org so go to dr michael gregor's channel and you and just look through his videos he has cool stuff there and it's all vegan and it's uh he's pro high carb vegan so it's a really good channel a really good resource now on to food combining Food combining, if you are, I will give you a few disclaimers first and foremost. If you are uh, doing small meals, um, even if you do the wrong combinations, it's not going to be a, a big deal because uh, it really doesn't matter when you're doing small portions, like if you're having bites and small meals. If you're having full on meals, try to combine your meals. Um, if you have digestive issues or you're healing from something, it's best to always go to. Um, uh, healing through uh, your gut first. Your gut is where your uh, health begins or begins to deteriorate. One of the two. So try to have as healthy of digestion as you can. Everything else will begin to heal from there. If you have bad digestion, if you have digestive problems, definitely follow com uh, uh, food combining rules. And at some point you may be you may be able to relax on it but for a while follow it and it will heal your digestion um, now uh, certain things can uh, certain rules can be broken and without a problem i just wanted to say this in advance and now on to the rules first drink a lot of water and drink water before your meals i wrote everything down so i can move quickly and keep the video very short I will post a chart on my website so come onto my website and I will post the link below and you can get it in a chart. Um, water on its own before anything and you can wait a little bit before meals. Usually I drink water then I have fruit and then I have my meals of vegetables and such. Melons and watermelons on their own, try not to mix them. Also berries. Um, you can have them on their own. I find them okay mixed with other fruits. Um, sweet fruits should be mixed with other sweet fruits or neutral fruits. Neutral fruits, also known as sub acids, such as apples and some sweeter peaches and grapes uh, and apricots, sweeter apricots. Those are sub acid. They can be sub acid fruits can be mixed with sweet fruits and can be mixed with sou uh, sour fruits, such as lemons. Uh, oranges, if they're very ripe, they can be sub-acid, they can be towards the sweet side and if they're just your typical grocery store orange, they will be sub uh, they will be acid, they will be sour. Uh, so, don't mix sour fruit and sweet fruit, especially if you're healing from something and if you're having digestive disturbances. If you have half a banana and half a lemon, 
Uh, it, you may feel it, but it's not as bad as if you had a blender full of those. So, sweet fruits, don't mix them with the sour fruits, but you can mix both sweet and sour with the neutral fruits or the sebaceous fruits. Uh, meaning, you can mix apples with bananas, no problem, apples uh, with uh, lemons, no problem, uh, grapes with oranges, no problem. Um, next, you can mix your sour fruits, uh, uh, acid fruits, with greens, with vegetables, with fats, and uh, with green. Uh, I said with greens, yes. You can mix. Um, your sweet fruits with greens. You can mix your fats, such as avocados, coconuts, uh, seeds, nuts, and so forth. You can mix your fats with veggies and, and with greens. Try not to mix fats with si sweet fruit. Um, starches you can mix with greens. When the starches are coming from vegetables, like roots, you can mix the starches with greens and veggies. Grains. As starches try not to mix them with other things it will it's better to keep it to um, uh, um, basic combinations while you're healing proteins are be best mixed with greens and veggies such as tofu beans and such you can combine them with greens and other vegetables um, avoid mixing proteins with sweet uh, fruits that is just not a very strong combination at all and um, I said already, starchy vegetables such as carrots, parsnips, pumpkins, uh, and certain other uh, vegetables when you cook them, you condense the starchiness in them as well. Um, you can mix those, uh, probably hickam as well, you can mix uh, those with proteins, okay, and with vegetables, uh, okay. Um, I think that's about it. I hope this made sense to you because I kind of moved quickly through it. Don't worry if you're having small meals and don't sweat it if you're having good digestion what you're doing is working already. This is only, I only, um, I'm only doing this, those videos for those people who are asking and who are not even aware of food combining. There are people that haven't heard of food combining and thanks to yoga they're learning about certain things about nutrition. Um, always um, try to stay hydrated because it uh, helps with your digestion. And uh, basically, if you're healing from something, try to stick to simple food combinations rather than complex combinations of a million things. Another thing I want to say is you can break the rules in a certain smoothies and dips. For some reason, when you put greens, the greens act as a buffer and they can help you. For example, you can make a dip raw dip for your vegetables and you can put in the dip mangoes which is a sweet fruit with dates and lemons and peppers and tomatoes and that will work okay because first of all you're just putting two dates and one lemon and second of all the greens act as a buffer it's just not it's basically the main point is don't try to have a huge meal of two uncombinable things dates and lemons but if you combine them in something small or if you just have two bites it will not bother you you only want to be very strict while you're healing or if you're having a very serious digestive issue when you have digestive issues of course address it through your diet first because digestion is absolutely um, directly related to your uh, eating habits um, greens do act as a buffer they do combine with pretty much everything especially tender uh, greens and another thing is lettuce and celery can be combined with fruits okay and can be combined with sweeter fruits and with neutral fruits so uh, lettuce and celery are your neutrals and cert and some baby greens i think that makes sense if you have more i will uh, upload a chart on my um website and i'll post the link uh, below so that you can get there and see it kind of spelled out for you because i was moving quickly and i think i hope this makes sense i will come back with another video from the questions you posted on the beautiful yogis group and uh, the beautiful yogis group will be in the description below and um oh by the way we're starting a 21 day yoga diet challenge on next week on monday so uh come on to beautiful yogis for that and 
post in the comments below if you have any more questions on the subject of um, food combining. I know it can be confusing and I know it can be overwhelming. It's pretty simple. Once you get the basics, it's extremely simple. Uh, so if you have any more questions, if you need more clarifications, let me know. And I will see you soon with... There was a ton of really good questions in the thread on Beautiful Yogis. Um, I will post the thread. I don't, uh, it's a closed group, so I don't know if it will post, but come over to the group. And uh, I will see you with the next question. Namaste.